Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel, guys. How y'all doing? It's your boy Mazior here. We are back with another Clash of Clans video. And, guys, today's video, we are gonna be jumping into Clan Capital. Yes, sir, we have that time of the week again that we show you guys some bases for it. I have been, you know, putting a bit time to design these kind of bases as well. And, uh, yeah, this week, guys, we are gonna show you bases for Builder's Workshop, Barbarian Camp, and obviously the Capital Peak. We try to bring Capital peak in every week so you guys you know whichever level you are whichever trees you have removed it's just you know you get used to the bases get different style of bases see which one you like personally because you also gotta like the base you know the defense in this game already like right now it's not too crazy like if you have a bad defense nothing's gonna happen so mostly is for you to also be able to you know look at it and be like wow i really like this base so <laughs> yeah guys we're just gonna go through it and uh, yeah show you guys how the bases are starting with builders workshop yes sir and guys on this clan we have not been able to remove these trees yet and these ones so for now i want to also change the bases like because i've built the last base in this area and now we are moving to the other area you know so that's why i like to you know bring you guys different bases like this so you get the idea of the ways for example some players might have trees on this side and won't be able to build the base there that's why we have different styles for example now you might be wondering what is that tesla for and we're gonna talk about it so guys those teslas are gonna be really annoying for the archers the barbarians the giants because you can see there's a lot of traps as well because i was thinking this you know this trick was the only one with a lot of teslas and traps so i was like why not give it a try and build a mega tesla trap like you know with log traps bombs teslas i was even gonna try to bring out these zap traps but you know bad thing about this is because they have such a huge range so anything can trick them if you put it like let's say here if they drop an archer for this wizard tower it's even gonna trick them so it's not really good but still we have designed something like that and again you have obviously got the two tall gap between the major defenses and you know small little area here which has these two are two tall gap from this district you know uh, area sorry and then uh, these two have you know two tall gap from if players attack from this side and then obviously the same goes these two have two tall gap if anyone want to go from all the way the other side still if anyone goes from these sides guys there is no point like there is nothing gonna matter too much they're all still gonna end up on this tesla farm or if they start from here it's just gonna be a hard journey for them and uh, yeah guys overall i hope you like this base give it a try you know build it out i'm actually gonna zoom out a bit more so you can actually see the all the buildings but yeah guys i hope this one defends well for you and for us so yeah let's move on to the next so guys we got the barbarian camp and yes it's not a corner base because we have been requested and uh, yeah a few people not only just one or two there was a few requests way back as well that they wanted to have a base kind of not in the corner just for you know the sake of these trees something or for example there is just more stuff there or they couldn't really build the base again for the trees because of the trees and yeah so we build the base in the middle i have not designed this base personally myself it's been here in this clan for i think quite a bit of time because you can already see the trees have not been removed but we have removed these trees in the real you know barbarian camp so they are still there if you didn't touch the base like your older version of the base they won't remove that's why sometimes even if you remove the trees always go and just remove them completely so you don't forget you can actually build a base there because sometimes in our clan also when we remove something like a tree or a statue no one really removes it out the base because they're just gonna hold it there but that's not the point you have to remove it because you can it's possible so hey guys i hope you also like this base there is quite a lot of bombs on the outside you know as you guys can see like you know around here 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 and then there are some two tall gaps but not many so this base i won't guarantee you that it's gonna be a very good base but we have good bases on the you know previous weeks i'm gonna link it down below if you have all you know all the trees open and then uh, you know overall you can you know build base around that corner because that's the strongest point you might also be wondering why i make the barbarian camp base in a corner it's not just for the looks it's basically guys this you know lake right here or a, you know small river or whatever this one you know the enemy is not gonna attack from there that's what 
is good in base building you want to know where people attack how people attack and defend them with whatever you can whatever traps and stuff you got and build the best base possible to be honest so yeah guys i hope you like this base and i defend well for you honestly so yeah move on to the next and then we got the capital p guys yes sir i've designed this personally myself and i will jump into it and tell you guys exactly well how all the traps and stuff work and guys this is just a nostalgia from that you know capital hall level i think maybe it was four or five when you know people used to put bases like this i just wanted to give it a try see if it still works on a capital hall level eight i have to see how many attacks we're going to consider on this type of you know base if it's not too good we are just going to change it but no one knows so let's move on and i'll tell you how it works so guys let's talk about the entrance we're also going to talk about if people are going to go around the base because that's something that you know sometimes it happened now this is the entrance right here we have two teslas why do we have two teslas is because in case someone drop archers going for you know any any anything here to be honest that's just for it to pop up and don't activate this bomb yes do not activate it because that bomb is mainly for the archers going for the cannon you want them to die so he drops another group of archers so he needs three group of archers to just get to the cannon and still because we have a blast ball here look at the range of this blast ball it's gonna shoot anything on this side we have tested it out there is nothing which is gonna survive if it's in that range and um, yeah overall it's a hard entrance for the archers to be honest now for the rock loons we have a similar type we have a mine right here in case anyone want to be funny and try to just drop rock loons from here go for the cannon there's gonna be one rapid rocket and one mine the rock loon one of them will not kill this cannon and that is the interesting part it will not we have tested it out a few times and also guys you can see we have some zap traps in these areas why is it there why is it a bit far and that's because guys in case anyone drops a ram if you i'm gonna tap on this wall if you drop a ram wait hold on why can i not okay i can see the deployment area if you drop a ram on this corner it will either go from this wall or this wall why not in anything here it's because there is no defenses and nothing around these areas even in these empty spots there is this and that the giant post and the cannon which is going to make the ramp go even lower than you know expected so this is why one thing the zap trap and obviously the lock launcher is for the other side archers in case they go but it also helps you with the ramps so this tesla pops up really fast try to you know destroy that ram real quick and guys also one thing i forgot to mention this tesla was mainly mainly there for one barbarian so a lot of people know this type of bases now they know there's a lot of traps but look at this if he drops one barbarian there is gonna be not a single trap that will be activated look at that that one might be the only one activated but i cannot put that further so he is gonna activate the zap trap but the lock traps is a bit more deeper for archers to go around these traps are a bit deeper this one also the barbarian will not activate it because it will go for the tesla it will not go in here and activate it so these two zap traps are for the rams going in and by the time the ram go around the wall and by the way the ram will not open any of these walls here because it's too like small such a small amount of walls a ram might open this one might but if you get so lucky a lot of times it doesn't open because they have changed the ai of the ram so the ram will go around if he drops in the corner here either here or here i can say it again but it will get destroyed with also the blast ball. Don't forget, you have a whole blast ball. Super hard to reach. So many stuff there is gonna have to, like they have to go through so many traps they have to go through and the giant post they have to get through to reach, to just reach the blast ball. And then that's when also your capital hall is gonna help you with the, you know, eagle shots basically when there's archers or giants or anything. This is an insane entrance, but that's why guys, I have built all the bombs to the other side and why is it like this why do I have rocket artillery all the way to the other side and this is why guys I know a lot of people are gonna get through this entrance just to go all the way around and attack from the other side but guys 
there is gonna be no point or not such a big difference if you go from the other side because guys those bombs are all made for archers barbarians giants wizards anything there and we got so many air targeting troops look at these rapid rockets air defense inferno air defense and rapid rockets with a rapid rocket and it's just crazy okay i just said so many rapid rockets oh my god okay it's just insane the amount of air traps in the other side and that's why i like this base personally and because not everything is on this side a lot of things are on the other side and it's not shown you know like it's not properly shown so a lot of people might just go from the other side but again it's still hard to get through this stuff and break this small wall right here which gives them access to the back side right here and that's what i like again about this base one wall can make a lot of difference because he needs so many ramps first off to open any wall he wants it's not gonna you know work out a lot of times so he might lose a lot of ramps in his first attack and not have any more then on the second attack he needs still ram to open this wall then the ram will go around this wall because the mortar is the closest thing you know next to the wall the next ram might go for this air defense or this stuff. It might even not open this, you know, other wall here because there's nothing behind it, guys. This is the cannon next to it. And again, the ram might even go all the way to the other side. But if he drops and opens this area, because we have an open wall here, he have access to the other side. But if that's if he's so clever to do that. A lot of people are that doesn't matter again i said it they can go all the way around and attack from the other side but still it's gonna be a very hard again back end with this blast ball behind the capital peak if they go from the other side capital hall because obviously the capital hall has a lot of hp this blast ball will be super annoying and also we got the crushers which are in a good place behind the rocket artillery and in front of the rocket artillery at the same time and this is why if they go from this side you know some people might even you can say some people might go from the other side but uh, again it's nothing gonna matter because they have to split between three or four different directions which they're just gonna use a lot of archers and giants or just their troops gonna go separate ways it's just an annoying base to deal with to be honest with you and personally what i would you know hit this base with myself will be i think a lot of barbarians at the beginning to just empty everything here whatever they have and just go i think with some rocket loons then open up the walls and then go from the other side to drop some archers for the you know major defenses and then just try to get it with a hot glider but you can still see all these things that i just told you is about three attacks that's three attacks and you still have all the other side left this is how interesting the space is and i hope it defends well it might not defend well we don't know that a lot of people might just go and just somehow get lucky on some certain timings and get it but still i personally like this space and i want to see how it defends in the raid weekend so if you want to copy it go for it if you don't i have other you know capital peak bases down in the you know description so check them out and um, yeah guys that was it for the video interesting bases i would say for this week we had a tesla farm we had a you know kind of maze type corner base you know capital peak i don't know how to call those type of bases you can say a hard entrance base and then we had a you know core barbarian base you can say in the middle of the base so it was kind of different and uh, you know a bit stylish you can say but still <laughs> it is what it is man so i hope you like this week's base and uh, yeah stay tuned for the next weeks and also if you have you know less level in certain districts i'm gonna have also links down below for a lot of other bases that we've done the weeks before and there are lower levels a lot of them so if you want to go and check out for example capital peak level seven or six you just have to go about one month earlier i have built so many bases for the capital peak level seven and all the districts we have base for every single level like this is how insane it is i actually just realized since the clan capital came out we've done bases nearly each week for at least three districts or four or sometimes we did two videos on six districts this is insane guys we have so many bases so check out my base playlist down in the description i'm just gonna you know post it right up there so you can actually you know have a look but i also as some people suggested i am gonna put the levels of these districts and the capital peak on each video so you know for example and you won't waste your time going through all the you know video and see oh my god this was barbarian camp level four 
my barbarian camp is level 3 what do I do now so you know that's why I'm, I'm gonna make it a bit easier on you guys and uh, thanks for all the people who suggest stuff and you know give me ideas or give me like you know some good ratings bad ratings you know so anything anything you have in your mind leave it down in the comments man I want to talk to you I want to see what you feel I want to know what you like and then um, yeah overall if you like for example a ring base somewhere in the barbarian camp let me know I'm gonna build it and put it out and try it out why not guys thank you so much on 500 subscribers like that's insane that's half a thousand subscribers and our next goal will be 600 we have big goals guys but we're gonna reach it you know step by step so next goal is gonna be 600 subs so i hope we reach it as soon as possible it's been an insane journey guys and i hope you guys are also loving it because i am definitely loving it man so thank you again for the support hope you have an absolutely amazing day Take care and peace.